and turning and turning in the widening gyre. The falcon cannot hear the falconer. Things fall apart. The center cannot hold. Mere anarchy is loosed upon the world. The blood-dimmed tide is loosed. And everywhere, the ceremony of innocence is drowned. The best lack all conviction, while the worst are full of passionate intensity. Surely some revelation is at hand. Surely the second coming is at hand. The second coming! Hardly are those words out when a vast image of the Spiritus Mundi troubles my sight. Somewhere in the sands of the desert, a shape with a lion body and the head of a man, a gaze blank and pitiless as the sun, is moving its slow thighs while all about it reel shadows of the indignant desert birds. The darkness drops again, but now I know that twenty centuries of stony sleep were vexed to nightmare by a rocking cradle. And what rough beast! It's hour come round at last, slouches towards Bethlehem to be born. Ah, Theophilus, ah, Gerald Williams, how you remind me of what I aspired to become. Once, in my youth, had I rid myself of quirks, I would have been as you. Had I aspired to the good, it would have been as you. Before you lies the truth, may you thrive, may you contend. And until we pass into the nether realm, wrapped in shadows and despair, bereft of our earthly forms, until then may the road rise to meet you, and until we meet again, May God hold you in the palm of his hand all the days of your life. The only way is forward. Who needs the doors when we could simply break on through? Welcome back to Project Zomboid. I have been building castles in the sky. I am just about sick of this zombie mess. I have a better idea. I have a foolproof plan that will set me apart from all the rest. Something so foolproof that it can't fail. Something that I adhere to for never even conceived. If entropy is the status quo in our universe, then let's not trifle with needless complexity. And in those words made so famous by Johnny Cash, I fell into a ring of fire. Fire. Well, that was anticlimactic. I, I managed to get only two of the fires lit. I, I really don't want them to burn down my warehouse. Uh, but I'm gonna have to go attract the rest of the neighborhood now. It, it may not look as cool as I wanted it to, but yeah, it's pretty. It'll probably keep it bright out tonight. It may not make any sense in terms of structural integrity, but it's mine. All right, let's just call out the rest of the neighborhood. Uh, yep, all of you. Don't you love how they do that thing where they look over their shoulder? Yeah, I love that. All right, now all we have to do is get the rest of the neighborhood over here. And then just do this. All right, let's watch it happen. Come on, let's go. Oh, great, look at that. Look at the fires spread. Yeah, loving it. Oh, great, look, there they go right over exactly as... Oh, nothing ever works out so well as this. Now all we've got to do is keep it going. Let's start building again. We're building outward from here. We're gonna spread the fire all around the neighborhood, except, uh, not... Preferably not destroy many buildings, but attract the hordes. I gotta... I gotta call out as many zombies as I can. Oh, shit. I didn't know that that happened. That's new. That's new. Okay, well, we just better pray now. Ah, uh, shit. Uh, this did not used to work this way, as I recall. All right, well, clearly there's a flaw in my plan, but at least, at least I'm safe inside my mind. And already burnt floor can't burn again, right? I think... Well, worst case scenario, you know, I get a little burn, right? I, I think I'm safe right here. I think I'm safe. All right, let's just keep calling to them. I may as well go in completely with my bad idea if it is. There we go. Okay, great. Already burned floor can't burn again. I knew that. I knew that. Well, at least we have new knowledge now, you know. Well, let's spread the fire around the neighborhood a bit, shall we? After all, we now have a roving band of fiery zombies. We just gotta do that. Get out in the back seat. Now, the building is kind of inconsequential. I can always just rebuild parts of the building. You know, park up more cars next to it, but life is... Ah, shit. Oh, well. Well, we will get a lot of them. We will get a lot of them, I can... I'm sure this will be worth it somehow. We now have a... A dedicated fire machine and it can't burn because it's already burned so I am safe therefore now the next task will just be to burn all of these platforms completely because for some reason the floor can't be destroyed everything in this game makes sense Com complete sense all right well whatever if that if that makes up for gargantuan horde sizes I'll take it I'll take it I'm sad I'm gonna need more cars but it's fine it's fine all right, now I just have to pass the night in this fiery inferno. I'm gonna just sit on the ground. I'm very... I'm hurting. I fell off the wood platform. There we go. 
Come on, Gerald, just, uh, yell through the night. What was that? All right, whatever. You know, we, we tried so hard up till this point. Now I just, whatever, just let's watch the morning come. Here we go, the morning is coming. The morning is coming. And we're attracting more roving bands. Hey, we have a fire machine now. I can't be killed. I didn't get burned through it. No, I didn't get burned. I'm okay. I'm good. I'm good. Hey, come see my fire machine. This is great. There they go, running through the fiery gamut. I really- I do genuinely hope that this does something to the neighborhood. I haven't found anything else that works. This is as bad as the hordes have ever been. Alright, it looks like we're out of fire, just about. Let's, uh, go check out the mess. We got a few down there roaming in, but it shouldn't be too bad on the other sides, I'm sure. Oh, great! The entire inside of the warehouse is burned down. Shh, yeah, shit. Well, at least I can now play the game the way it was intended to be played. Now that I've lost everything that I own. I at least have my- I don't even have my water fountain anymore. Don't even have my water fountain. At least I still have my car battery charger. And my integrity. I may not have an indoor area anymore, but... I still have my garden. I still have my welder mask. I may not have a wall anymore. But today I can do something even greater. In fact, I don't know why I didn't do this before. It's even better. And since the warehouse is useless now, we just snuggle up our cars next to each other. Set everything on fire again. Because in this universe, cars can't burn at all. And now I'm going to do something extremely unprecedented. It is without precedent. I'm going to take this shotgun that I found, and prepare it, and then I'm going to shoot it off somewhere. Now, and again, here we go, everyone come in from all sides, that's at least a few of them. Let's hope that that draws more. I really want to clear out more of this neighborhood. Okay, now we just fall asleep on the steering wheel, and then I'm gonna sit through this horrible sound for a few hours. Hopefully they'll actually touch the fire. It seems as if it's starting to do something. I hope that the battery doesn't give out first. That would be bad. Yeah. There we go. All right. Great. Look, there goes the fire. There goes the fire. Great. They know where to go. They know where to go. Um, I need more movement. I need more movement. Look at this. It's not even spreading to the ones nearby. Come on. Get tighten up. Tighten up. Here we go. There goes the fire. Okay, great. Great. Look, there goes the fire. It's starting to spread. Wonderful. I don't think I even need to do anything anymore. Great. Now it's just spreading to all of them. Oh, look, here they come. Great fun. Really one of the greater exploits that exists in the game. We'll just give it another long honk. They're one of my favorite vehicles in which to survive this. Obviously, since cars are immovable objects, I want an unstoppable force meets an immovable object, you know what happens. Clearly, everyone... It's a great conflagration. A great conflagration we're experiencing right now. It's getting extremely loud in my headphones though, so I'm gonna start to turn it down. Look, there goes one crawling. He really wants to get some. It's like Soylent Green is in my truck or something. Great, come get the Soylent Green. Yes, just everyone in the entire neighborhood of Muldra. Come on, can we fill the screen? Great, look, they aren't even rendering anymore. They just look like shadows. Oh, that's so... That's so poetically beautiful. Look, they don't even render anymore. There's just so many on the screen. Again, I'll say this is the experimental build. That is kind of freaky, though. <laughs> look, there they come. God, it's like the grudge or something. They're wonderful, wonderful. I wonder what sorts of things they'll have on them. Good. All right, well, now I'm getting bored. It's it's just a bunch of shades coming in from all sides. Really a beautiful ending. I hope to see no more zombies in Muldra. I'll be using this strategy for the rest of the neighborhood, as I don't think. Look, it's wonderful. It's like a Photoshop drop filter gone wrong. Look, the fire is emitting such strange, wonderful patterns. Naturally, more want to join in. There they come. I like how they're slowly rendered in as they get closer. Amazing, amazing. Look, there's one with a visor. A cowboy hat. Such wonderful accoutrements they have. It still seems to be attracting more even without my intending it, so I think I'm gonna give honking a break. Uh, at least for the next few hours until night falls. I'll probably be here through the night. There they go. A few are starting to die off at the edges. I'll just... Speed up time. Oh, that doesn't seem to be possible. I'm just, uh, I'm kind of stuck here. All right, well, I'll 
I'll watch it play out in real time. That's also perfectly acceptable. What I love about this is that it's not damaging any of the nearby property. You know, I had to lose my warehouse. I kind of deserve it. I mean, in theory, I could go to sleep in here if I were able to calm myself enough. A wonderful exploit. May it never be patched out. I wonder if you could just get food this way, you know? Uh, like, if some of them have bags of chips and water bottles on them. In theory, you could just do this for a living. I eagerly await to see what it lies outside of my car. For I have been in my car for so long, everything has been the same, and I'd like to see somewhere else very much. I can't wait to get out of here. Soon and very soon I will be able to leave my car. But not right now. I, I probably won't be able to leave my car for a good while. I'm not tired enough yet to sleep. There we go now, just a few left. Uh, it'll be a real pain if some of them don't catch fire and I have to wait longer. Fortunately, the campfires will keep burning for a very long time, so. You know, I've also, I've lost my panic moodle. Peckish. I'm not panicked anymore. You know, after a certain point, it just, so much of the same thing, it doesn't matter anymore, do you? Obviously, I couldn't change seat. That wouldn't be a good idea, but I should be perfectly fine in the driver's side. All right, I'm ready to go back to my normal life again. Well, now that we've created a literal fire death machine, I am I think I can just clear out any area now. It's a matter of bringing it over there. And it won't even destroy the buildings either. It's perfect. It's perfect. I'm actually getting sick from being around the I'm getting sick from being in the car so long around the bodies. It's a very violent game. Very violent. But they're zombies, so. Now they just look like people trying to get onto like a Grateful Dead tour bus. It's uh, and then there were three. We just need that one guy. Well, we'll wait. We'll wait. May as well be patient here. One, and there he is, purple sweater, he's the winner. Unfortunately, he's in exactly the spot where I need to go, so we'll have to wait for him too. Look at those trendy shoes. Ah, wonderful. Okay, well there's still fire there, so we'll need to wait a minute. Thank you, fire. MVP, MVP. I would like to be very quiet now. Just get away from all those bodies. Oh, come on, there's another one. Okay, I'm gonna get to sleep in a real house tonight, I think. What a, what a treat, what a privilege. Have I totally cleared out the neighborhood? Well, for now, manifest destiny. The dream lives on of having a normal life. And someday, maybe even sleeping in a real bed. From one end of Muldraw to the other. I think that's all we have time for today. That's literally all I have time for today. As always, more smashing things ahead. Literally. But until then, remember the words of Ray Bradbury. It's always a pleasure to burn. I think that's all I have to say for now. Thank you to the AA support group. You are wonderful. So until then, may the the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. The rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. An Irish blessing until we meet again. Until next time, my name's Ambiguous Amphibian. Goodbye.